Hello and welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're going to talk about how literally insane PC gaming is. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, we have a situation here. We have an intense situation here and I've been thinking about this all day, but I'm going to try to break it down. So, um, somebody in the community told me to watch a video. I watched that video and this dude was talking about like he was doing like benchmarks for like the, um, you know, like from the 3090 up, you know, the 7900 XT. XTX or whatever the 3080 and stuff, you know, talking about how the 3080 and the 78 or, or the 7900 XTX literally trades blows with this card. But his caveat, his absolute caveat for the 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 7900 XT or or AMD just not being being a good option or whatever, um, from what I could gather, was it 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 needs more power it's not as a power efficient as the 4080 but that let this sink in for a minute it will cost you about $20 a year to run a 7900 XTX okay i mean give or take you know you run you run that at full watts whatever when you're playing whatever you're going to spend about $20 more than it would cost i mean you're you're going to spend about $20 more for that card um and maybe save a little bit more if you go with the with 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 a 4080 so here's the thing. A 4080 costs $1,200. I've seen them as high as like $1,250 or whatever, but you can usually get one for about $1,199. The 7900 XTX has been in the $700 range. In the $700 range. So you're going to save all that money buying a card with the same power, but it's going to cost you $20 extra a year to run it. So you got to do the math right there, man. You got you to gotta decide. Like, look, man, I can spend... $400 more and I can get that same performance and I get, and I get fr fake frame rate, it, but it, but it, but I, but I save $20 a year just to run the card. That is absolute madness to me, man. That that's, that's honestly madness to me talking about how AMD cards are inefficient. Um, <clears throat> to me, that doesn't sound inefficient. That, that sounds like they did something else. It works. It gets you the power. The whole thing that everybody's all like, yeah, AMD doesn't got enough power to phase out with the NVIDIA or whatever. And I'm like, dude, this is interesting. The mental gymnastics that PC gamers go through to try to justify the purchase or to justify, you know, one one card is better than the other. This is ridiculously madness, man. I'm here to represent the new age of PC gaming, which if you look at it this way, you've got the, you've got the older guys that are, you know, trying to go through and like play around with settings, getting mad, like Alex Pataglia and all these guys calling out like different settings for this. Well, this game doesn't have enough settings or well, this game doesn't have enough. You know what, man? Most people don't even want to have to play with that stuff. I want to get in there, cl click on a preset and start playing. See if it runs good. If it runs good, awesome. And I think a lot of people come into PC want it that way. That's why developers are trying to simplify things for us even more and i like that now if you want like this great control that used to be there and used to have everything set up or whatever like i i get where you're coming from man but times are changing things are getting more efficient the cards are getting more efficient you no longer i mean you've got upscaling technology in these cards now that you just click a button and it says, okay, I make your game look good. You want it to look quality? I'll make it look quality. You want it to look balanced? I'll make it look balanced. You have that option. You can't have both. You can't be like, well, I want like this super massive. I want to be able to do whatever, flick everything else, and then still use my DLSS or whatever. No, dude, that's these cards are far more efficient than they've ever been before. They're efficient. You don't need to sit there and flick around with anything no more. All you need to do is decide what resolution you want to play on. If you want a 1080p, get a 1080p card. If you want a 1440p, get a 1440p card. If you want to definitely make sure that you can play at 1440p for a long time, get a 4K card. It, it's it's all pretty simple. It, it really is starting to get simple. And that's the thing. Like these guys like Alex Pataglia and all these dudes that are doing mental gymnastics just because like I like ray tracing and DLSS. Dude, who cares, man? Like you, like it. I think it's dumb, dude. It, it really is dumb. It, it, it is it is like the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. I get that people want to have that, that like extreme tinker, you know, mindset when it comes to PC. Like I get it. But then there's also people that are intimidated to get into PC because of that. 
because of that like that that nonsense pushes so many people away it's not even funny it does it pushes people away from the pc gaming space the people that are yeah man deep with pockets and they're going to come in there and say you guys are just going to ruin pc gaming for us you're going to keep buying these cards and they're going to keep raising the price yeah dude well i mean like what else are they supposed to do your guys is insistent whining and crying about every little thing and every little detail and this and that and this and that is making it so when people come into pc gaming they automatically think they need the highest one. And then everybody's like, oh yeah. And then they got the console mindset too. Like, oh yeah, well, there's a new console. I got to buy it. So every time a new card comes out, they're going to go out and there and buy it because they're already conditioned with the console generations in the console space to upgrade every time a new console comes out. And then <laughs> you guys are ruining PC gaming too, man. Like you can't blame all the new people that are coming to PC gaming for ruining PC gaming when you guys have like literally made everything so confusing that people have to spend hours watching YouTube and all they get filled with is a bunch of like opinions, a, b a bunch of opinions, man. Like that's all we're getting filled with. I know I do the same thing on my channel. I do. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I buy a new product and I'm like, yeah, this is the best thing ever. And then like a week later I stop covering it because nobody watches the content. <laughs> <laughs> if, if if the content did well, I would, I would cover things more often, but man, come on guys. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. The mental gymnastics when it comes to PC gaming is, is, is incredible is, is incredibly, Oh, it, it, it's very confusing, man. Like I've already spent $7,000 on my PC adventure. I've already spent $7,000 on this because of all the confusion out there. You know, DLSS creates more confusion out there than anything else on this freaking planet. And the people and, and, and the way that people like, yeah, DLSS is great and stuff when they're trying to push their cards over to another limit that, that shouldn't even be there. Like, I, 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 I get it. DLSS is great. It does make the image quality look better. But at the same time, like it's creating so much confusion that, that like you don't even know where to buy what what to buy things need to be simplified things need to be simplified uh, last generation uh amd nvidia you know 3000 series 6000 series came out and amd had you know the the 16 gigs of vram on there because they're the ones that clearly built the consoles knowing that ps5 has 16 gigs of vram xbox series x has 16 gigs of vram they pretty much set the floor obviously the xbox series s has 10 gigs they they set the base floor for that. Nvidia was still living in like the past or something, you know. Like they made they they sent the freaking eighth generation consoles out with a bang with the three thousand series cards. They did. I mean, like the the thirty seventy or the or the thirty eighty freaking Ti. That would man that would have blown every single Xbox One and PS4 game completely out the door. High frame rates, everything you could have had the whole shebang with that. But then they're struggling to run next-gen games. They're struggling to run next-gen textures. They're struggling to run next-gen architectures. They're struggling to run the next generation of gaming, like like they are. And and you could see, you could sit here and tell me that that I don't know what I'm talking about all you want. But I mean, having a 3080 10 gig and running into issues with games that that are just barely coming out that are still kind of technically in the cross-gen range, you know, they're they're getting more features that 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 proved everything i needed to know right then about the kind of company that nvidia is i i feel like nvidia is all of their products are designed to to make you buy the top that all of their products are designed for you to buy the top i will give them credit though i will give nvidia credit this generation with the 4000 series cards for actually providing enough vram for 1080p 1440p and 4k at an extreme cost though at an extreme cost though so the moral of today's video is the um the the power draw man like seriously really man it's gonna cost you like twenty dollars a month to run that to run that 7900 xtx versus paying four hundred dollars more for for that i mean i guess if you keep it for like 10 years or whatever then then it'll equal the price of a 4080 or whatever but that's that's just that's just the the weirdness man like the chiplet design 
in my opinion is is efficient and it's only going to get more efficient you got to understand man like the 4080 launched with all of its features it's dlss all of its frame gen all of its stuff like all of it day one i mean it launched with it the amd cards didn't launch with all of their stuff they're still gonna be performance gains you know in like a couple of years like i mean we're still waiting on all the rdna2 features for the xbox series x so i mean it's not like they're gonna materialize overnight but you can probably bet that the that the uh 7900 xt and xtx are going to get more efficient as this generation goes on like they say fine wine uh, your 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 stuff's gonna your drivers are gonna age like fine wine on the amd card and that's kind of cool, you know? I mean, like, all of a sudden, magically, you know, later down the road, you're going to have more performance or you'll have more this or that. That's pretty cool, man. Like, 4080, you get what you get at the end of the day, and then it just kind of regresses after that, you know? Like the 3080 10 gig did, you know? I was, I was, it was doing great. It was doing great. And then, boom, all of a sudden, it just started, you know, not performing like it used to. And I was like, wait a minute. Why isn't this card able to push these games? It's 30 teraflops. It's stronger than the Xbox and the PS5. Like... How come I can't do what they can do? You know what I mean? And <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. Like, I just, I feel like the mental gymnastics in the PC space. I know this is all over the place, but it's just weird, man. It's absolutely weird. I mean, honestly, this is all over the place because I was already recording this video and then my wife called and kind of messed up the video. And, and so I had to stop recording and, and I, I, I feel like, I don't know, man. I just, I kind of feel like this is, this is. This is ridiculous. I feel like there's just too much. There's just too much nonsense out there, too much misinformation, too much um, confusion going on in the PC space that, that, that I, I mean, obviously I'm going to be part of it, but I am, you know, I, I'm, you can consider me like, like, um, like the, like the new freaking kids on the block type freaking PC kind of gamers that are, that are just coming in like a dump truck and just sitting wherever we want, doing whatever we want, buying whatever we want and not respecting the old ways. And like, we don't care about the old ways, man. Like I'm, I'm serious. Like we don't care about the old ways. We don't know all your struggles over the years of buying. Like, we don't know. We don't know. Don't blame us for that. That's not our fault, man. We're coming in and we're trying to make, we, we, we want to experience this greatness that you guys keep, you know, telling us that we, we need, the, the, the PC is better and our console suck. Like you brought this on yourselves. You brought this on yourselves. Now all of us dump trucks are coming in, man. We're, we're pulling up right next to you. And we're just, we're just going to buy these cards every two years, man. And we're going to drive the prices up. Maybe, maybe you should talk to these other guys that are making content and tell them to, Hey man, like we, we need to stop with the whole, the whole convoluted nonsense because these guys are going to come in and they, and they're just going to buy the best because they don't want to deal with any of the other stuff. They don't know about any of this other stuff. So they're just going to buy whatever and it's just going to make things harder for us. That's not our fault, man, that we are that it is so confusing that we really just don't know what to buy. We really just don't know what to buy. You know, we 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 want our 4K at 60 frames a second. Well, instead of just getting on the on the internet and Telling us how, how these PC ports are trash. Gosh, you're trash. This, 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 right? Like, dude, <laughs> I, I've seen, I've seen a few videos from a few different content creators just always complaining about how, like Alex Battaglia and everybody complaining about, the, like the, like the, like the menu, like the selection menu. Just like I want this, this, ah, just all these choices, and it's like, really, man? Like nobody wants all those choices. Not, not anybody that's coming into the PC gaming new, like that's way too much, way too much, man. We just want to be able to flick. Okay. I want low, medium, high 4k. <laughs> you know what I mean? We just want to see our 4k. That's what we want. That's why we, that's why we're leaving our 4k consoles and coming to our 4k PCs is because we just want the 4k that we were promised. And we can't get it on our consoles, so now we're going to go pay our $4,000 to buy our top-of-the-line PCs to get our 4K. And when it doesn't work, then we're going to be mad. We're going to be mad again. So, I don't know, man. If 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 you want PC gaming to get better, something's got to give. Something's got to give. You, you can't sit here and consistently root for NVIDIA and tell everybody that NVIDIA this, NVIDIA that, NVIDIA this while discrediting the amd side completely and saying oh the drivers are trash or this or, or just creating nonsense around the amd cards 
and then expect for things not to get any better because you know what man every single playstation fanboy when they go to pc they're gonna buy nvidia and they're gonna buy the most expensive nvidia cards and they're gonna be like yeah and then you're gonna be stuck having high prices getting skimped out on and all of that stuff because you keep rooting for nvidia I, I don't know what else to tell you man like i don't know what else to tell you i don't know how to fix this problem for you guys i don't but i'm gonna help i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to fix this problem with just my my little my little hillbilly freaking yeah i mean oh pc gamer now you know what i mean like it's it's just stupid it's just dumb i hope that i hope that this can figure itself out before it's too late like i do man i feel like i feel like this pc thing is just getting it it it's so over like like it's it's, it's so over critical man like it's 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 fucking video games it's video games Everything doesn't need to be so gosh dang critical, man. Like it doesn't need to be that big of a deal. Like, oh my gosh, like the nonsense that I hear day in and day out and day in. I probably hear more of it because I'm a content creator. Like I hear more of it. I get more, more, uh, more, more comments in the comment section, stuff like that. I, I, I do. I just, I hear a lot of it and I, and I feel like everybody's just coming down on me and yelling at me and stuff. And it's like, come on, man. Like I'm new to PC gaming, but I'm trying to figure it out, but I, I just feel like it's just, it's too much, man. There's so much, there's so much different information out there that it, that it's, that it's confusing at times at best. It's confusing at times and, and completely un just, it, it, it's, it's not cool, man. It's not cool. We need a better way for this. So if you like this content, don't forget to like it, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.